Good day my fellow travelers, Mitch's World Traveler here and welcome back to another video which I did promise um, yesterday uh, but I thought I would do a different video today rather than what I said I would um, but I will be doing the video of one of my few things um, on Saturday that I will be taking with me which my partner's um, family, uh, my partner's aunt have given me to give to um, the family in Cebu, uh, in the Philippines. So now today's um, video from what you can see from the title is going to be uh, about my pre-flight uh, experience with um, Scoot, the airline that I'll be using to traveling to the Philippines and back. But I will be uh, doing an up updated video um, of my experience pre in flight and after and vice versa from Cebu to Perth. So um, so that you guys will know how what Scoot might be like. Um, but then again, each person's experience with an airline uh, will be different, totally be different. But with my, my experience so far, I will have to say it's not so good. There's only two pros um, so far uh, to it. Uh, and the rest are cons, but in, especially in my in, in my opinion, I think they are cons. So, first thing is, pro first pro thing is that I um, will give to to Scoot is the prices of the t of the tickets. It's very cheap. Um, it's more I think it's more of a budget orientated uh, uh, airline um, uh, because. Week, weeks leading up to me purchasing, purchasing my ticket, uh, I, I noticed that on Tuesdays with Scoot, it's, it's the cheapest day to, to buy tickets. Uh, normally, um, the cheapest ticket I've seen is below 200 so that's good for them, you know. So if any of you want to purchase any tickets with, through Scoot, I suggest do it on Tuesdays. Because it's the cheapest day to to uh, to buy some flights. Um, that's the one pro. The second pro um, that I think is a pro is um, they have a, a, a list that uh, of destinations that they do travel to. Uh, they travel to um, 60, 68 locations, um, which is which is good. Um, I mean, uh, but they don't travel to all um, places, unfortunately. But it's not really a con. But you know, they could probably in the future add more destinations, or maybe take away. We who knows. But that is one big, um, uh, big pro for me. Um, is that it automatically lists the the locations that it does go to. Um, you don't even have to. All you have to do is just put your 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 cursor on to the destination part, and it just pops up already. So that's good for them. So that unfortunately, that is the end of the pro pros of it. Um, the cons of it is customer service so far has been terrible, very very terrible. Apart from today's one, but weeks on end when I was contacting Scoot, the, the customer service were terrible. People sounded very rude, arrogant, um, had an attitude. They just were very short with me, which I didn't like. Um, so that is one con that I do not like about their customer service. But then again, now that I think of it, it's um, uh, probably to do with each person, how they feel on the day, but it's unacceptable regardless. Um, you're supposed to be, you know, friendly and helpful to your customers when you call them, you know, so when they call you, <coughs> sorry. So that is not good. But I will say the lady that I talked to today, she was very nice. She was very helpful. But... <coughs> but I'll be <coughs> I'll be talking about that in just a second. So which also leads to the the second con, which I think um, is a con is the lack of terminal um, locations. There are no indication on the website or on the app of um, of Scoot indicating which terminal you have to go to after you purchase your ticket. Nothing. There's no indication whatsoever. So to me, I had to call in and ask because I, to me I thought, hey, maybe they will probably send me the information a few days leading up to, uh, to my flight. And it's, and it's seven days now. So whew, seven days, I can't wait. Um, in seven days, 
uh, before my flight is, and they still haven't received, and I still haven't received any any information, you know. Um, so I called and called and called until I, uh, I got what I wanted, and the lady today did help me. She did uh, um, uh, give me the terminal number which I have to be in is which is in terminal one here in Perth. Um, so the lack of terminal information is very bad. It really is. Um, so from my from my um, indication is that, or from from what I t take from this is that you have to call them to ask them the terminal number. And why why do you have to call in to know which terminal you have to be in for your flight? That is just ridiculous. What if what if a person didn't know uh, which terminal they have to be in? Uh, to, so, which means they have to go to the airport, ask which terminal they have to be in, which they could probably be in the wrong one too. So, which means they have to travel an extra amount of time to get to the right terminal, especially when there's four terminals here in Perth, uh, to get to your flight on time. So, that is one con that I do have uh, about Scoot so far, is no indication of terminal um, numbers at all on your itinerary or ticket or whatsoever. On the website or on the app so that is one um, the second uh, the other con here uh, to it is uh, baggage information checked in baggage information um, from my what I've gathered from it so far is um, there is no indication either on the ticket or in the website where you have to recheck in your your, your luggage um, uh, on a connecting flight I've asked the lady um, what am I supposed to do in Singapore now? Uh, what am I supposed to do with Singapore? If I do, I have to recheck in my baggage, or does it automatically get taken to um, to my connecting flight? And she said um, they had a complimentary service uh, called Scoot Through, which which no longer um, which no longer is available. Apparently, that's what that's what she said. They don't offer that service anymore. So I thought, okay. So I thought to myself, why, why, why would they take it away? It's just to me, it doesn't make sense. It's a bit stupid, you know, to release um. To take away a service, that is complimentary. So that service did uh, what that service did from what I gathered from it is it takes your bag. Automatically to the next collecting your know, connecting flight, and you have nothing to worry about. You just have to go to your gate and wait for your flight. <laughs> <coughs> so so now how are you supposed to know if if you have to recheck in your luggage or not so that so so again again with the the, the terminal one so again it means you have to call in and ask information like that you're not really supposed to be calling in and ask it's supposed to be indicated on your ticket or itinerary automatically because that's how you make it smooth and easy and a good experience for your customers rather than having a hard roughy experience with uh, with um, the airline as a customer so that is one so please check out for that guys just so you know do call do call the, the airline uh, if you if you are deciding to go with Scoot after this video, do call them um, and find out that information after you purchase your ticket straight away. And I would recommend definitely call again a few days before your flight just to confirm exactly those information that you asked um, after you purchase your flight just to make sure that is correct um, in case it might change uh, or not because... I, I, I highly doubt that they probably even will let you know if something changed as well. So you have to call, I guess. So that is that, guys. Um, that is that. Uh, if uh, my experience so far with Scoot is not a very good one, but like I said, it can change uh, with my in-flight uh, experience and after <coughs> and back from Cebu to Perth. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Actually, hold on. Actually, hold on. I um, I have another thing to say. I have purchased another uh, Tokyo treat box, um, August um, August Tokyo treat box, which comes with a very interesting, interesting uh, um, uh, item.
uh, which I've never tried before. Um, only Japan has it right now, um, but um, but I think it might not be even released to the rest of the world. But who knows? It could, uh, which is Coca Cola Clear. Um, I'm sure I'm not sure if you guys heard of it before, but uh, it just launched in in Japan a couple of weeks ago. So that will be in the next Tokyo Treat Box. So again, if you guys want uh, to buy or subscribe to Tokyo Treat Box, I'll put the link down below for the website uh, to make it more easier um, uh, so you guys can order um, some for you. But and another another thing I want to add to the video is last night I, um, I was able to stream on YouTube um, from my indication apparently I am now uh, verified um, on YouTube uh, which is good because uh, I saw I, I looked I tried to go uh, to try to do a live stream just to see how if my mic works or anything in that particular um, particular way and it worked and I was able to to live stream for a couple of minutes just to see if it you know everything runs smoothly and I was using Google Hangouts but first before I use Google Hangouts um, I was using an encoder called um, OBS Studio. Uh, that is a very good good capturing software. If you want to capture gameplay or capture anything you're doing on your computer, you, you can use that. It's for free. Uh, you don't have to pay it for anything. But it also does live streaming. So I'll most likely be using that, the OBS Studio and Google Hangouts or Google Streaming Service as well. Um, so if you guys want to use that, I will put a link down below. Um, for you to download uh, OBS Studio if you do want to uh, be using that. So that is it guys for the video. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and always remember guys, the world is our holiday. We can go anywhere, we can have fun anywhere we like. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.